Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for this guide to pigs. Let's begin. All right, let's take a look at pigs. So pigs, food, corn, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sorghum, and sugar beets. Products produced, manure and slurry, age of maturity, six months. In farming simulator, there are different breeds of pigs, German Landrace, Bentheim Black Pied, and Berkshire. There's no real difference except for their visual appearance. When it comes to providing food for pigs, they are the most time consuming animal because you need to feed them a variety of crops you need to grow yourself. As an alternative, you can buy pig food, which is of course the more, exp more expensive option. To maintain the he health of your pigs, therefore their ability to reproduce, you need to provide them with the right mix of feed. You just unload the pig food for each crop at the unloading area for the pigsty. You don't need to use a mixing wagon, which is required for cows. So the base food is either corn or sorghum. Grains is either wheat or barley. Protein is either soybeans, canola or sunflowers. And root crops are either potatoes or sugar beets. All right, let's take a look at the pig pastures. So we've got a small pasture here. So I'm just gonna jump into the build mode because this will be a bit easier. So the pig pasture here. So this is for 30 pigs, cost of 28,000. So this will take straw feed. So actually this won't take straw, but it does have a water point that requires water. Uh, the pig sty, which is this one here, which will, which will hold 108 pigs, will take straw and pig food. So they basically go in through this point here. So the food delivery point um, and you'll also get slurry produced out of this tank here so I should mention quickly that the pig pasture doesn't produce any slurry and then we've got the large pig sty for 164,000 which will hold 270 pigs so this is my preference for pig sty in the base game just because of the capacity of the total pigs that it can hold and also can hold more feed as you can see by the larger storage tank larger amount of straw to produce, produce manure and a larger slurry uh, tank so basically if we're comparing the pigsty large and pigsty small essentially the only difference is the capacity of the pigs uh, and the water requirement is only for the pig pasture okay signified by the water trough icon whereas these two guys here they don't require water the water is uh, taken care of and it's not something you need to worry about all right so how do we place these down so you want to come over to the build mode animals navigate over to pigs and we're just going to place down the pig pasture find the area that you want to place it okay so you can rotate it around if we're on console we've got the free rotate ability here we can put it on any angle we like uh, we can push uh, l3 to snap so it'll snap to predetermined angles so you can see that there So just depending on, depending on your needs, how you want to place it, it's up to you. Basically, one thing you need to, need to be mindful of is that the trigger points at the front here that we can see are easily accessible. So for example here, we wouldn't we potentially wouldn't want to put this pasture up against an obstacle because then those, those points will be hard to interact with. What we would consider doing is moving it around just as an example so we've got easy access to our pigs. When you're happy with the position, you just press X to place. So you can see it's $28,000 to place that one. Now, if we go to an area that needs to have some terraforming, such as over here, you can see the cost of the pig pasture will alter based on the amount of landscaping that's required to get this level. So if I place this here, pig pasture is not, not a great example, but if we go to the pig, one of these guys here, you can see the cost does jump up a little bit so if I do that there kind of cuts into the hill a little bit to level it off okay so just something to be aware of in the build mode if you're not familiar with that uh, and it does it does charge you extra money to terraform that land all right so how do we get some pigs in here so the easiest and probably the more most accessible way is to come into here so this is the animal dialogue box we're just going to go in and pop in one pig so we're going to buy the German land race. We're going to go with zero a month, $230. So $200 to buy, $30 transport fee. Uh, you can transport them with a vehicle or a trailer from the animal dealer. So the animal dealer, if you didn't know, is located on the map, Elm Creek, just over here. So in relation to the central starting farm, which is over here, and the animal dealer just there. Okay, so here we go. We've got one pig just hanging out so now what we need to do is we need to provide food and we need to provide water so a couple of different options for that so let's do the water first so what we've done here is I've put in a water source so a water tank uh, you can use any open body of water to fill these as well it just depends on what you've got available okay so we come up to the icon which 
you get the overloading trigger. So we're probably not close enough, so let's try that again. So we get the overloading icon, overload the water. So it'll take the required amount of water. So here we go, pig pasture. It has got 3000 liters of water, so that is the maximum it will take. Okay, so let's get this guy out the way. Right, next thing we need to do is add some uh, food. So basically, I've got some pig feed here. So we've got the pig feed in the big bags or we've got the pig feed in the pallets. So to find them, we go into the shop, go into objects, big bag pallets, scroll over to the pig feed. So we've got the lizard pig food, $1,000 for a thousand liters. So that's the pallet, which we can see here. And then we've got the big bag, which is in the shop under big bags. Scroll on over to pig food. And there it is there, $900 for a 1,000 litres, so a little bit cheaper. All right, so let's jump into the telehandler here, and we're just going to go drop this food off. So the pig food comes pre-calibrated to provide all the necessary food types. So if I actually get it in position, so you can see that coming out of the bags there, filling up the troughs. And the bags will just disappear once they uh, have been consumed. So let's get them out of the way. All right, next one is the the pallet. So we can just take the pallet over and it'll do the same thing pretty much. So you can see that dropping out the bottom. And you can see our onboard pallet indication in the bottom right hand screen uh, just dropping off as well. Now you can load those uh, pallets into nearby trailers. So the trailers that will take the pig feed will just pick them up off of the ground like they do with seeds and you can drop them in uh, for your feed okay so now we've got one pig in there we've got some feed in there and we are pretty much all set to go here so let's go and check out the situation all right so you can basically see water is full okay so we've got to maintain that water uh, you can see the food there so total capacity slash effectiveness uh, 3,000 litres. So this will take, I think, about 9,000, 10, maybe 10,000 litres of food all up. Now the pig food contains a combination of base food, grain, protein, and root crop all in the one bag. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either provide all the food that you require yourself, okay, through your own uh, farming operation, or what I recommend is you just use the the pig food the pre pre the pre um, packaged pig food just to get you started okay all right so that is basically it for the pig pasture all right so we've got our pig we've got our pig pasture we've got some food in there we've got some water in there now if we want to get manure out of this which i don't think you are you're able to get manure out of the pig pasture or you can't get slurry okay because there's no there's no base there's basically no provision for it in the pen information okay so just to confirm that let's try and put some loose straw in so we've got our loose straw in a trailer. Basically all you would do normally do is you'd back up to this icon and we should get the overloading trigger, uh, which we don't. Okay, so we try a straw bale as well, just to make sure if I can find where this. So we take it over to the feed point, pop the straw in. So it does not receive the straw in any way, shape or form. Okay, so the pasture, so the small pasture is unable to produce slurry uh, or store it or manure, okay? So it's basically just for pigs, hence why it's quite a bit cheaper in terms of uh, investment in regards to the other two. All right, here we are at the pig sty. So this is the smaller of the two. Let's go and purchase an animal. So we're just gonna go a one pig, get that in there. All right, now, same deal, same deal here, except this time we've got slurry storage. So we're gonna go, we've got a pig, sty large over there that we've been running for a few months as part of our test so we'll get to that in a minute just to show you what a, a fully fledged operation looks like okay now i'll just demonstrate with this pen because it's identical for the larger pen okay so let's go and grab our pig feed so we've got a trailer all right so we've got a trailer of pig feed here basically all we need to do is we need to drive up to the interaction point for the, for the feed which is this one just here so drive on through, drop that pig food off, and you can see if we go over to the interaction point, so you can see the food is now showing 10,926 litres. So let's get this guy moved out of the way. Now the other input that we can have for this is straw. So let's go and grab our straw. 
So we've got our trailer of loose straw from before that we couldn't get into the pasture. However, the pigs die, as you'll be about to see. We can basically drop that off, no problem. So this will take, I think about 40,000 litres roughly. So our pigsty, which is this one here, so 15,000 litres of straw. So the straw is required to produce manure. So if you don't want to produce manure, uh, don't worry about the straw. Uh, and the slurry will automatically start to generate once the pigs start to feed, okay? Okay, so just to demonstrate that the pig styes will take loose straw or bales, let's try the bale on the larger pig sty. So I'll pop that down. Will that take it? So there we go, so it's taken the straw and showing 9,009 litres of straw. So if we go to our pig sty large, which we don't have an animal in there, so let's buy one quickly. Go back into the help menu. So 9,009 litres of straw. So you can use both straw, loose, and straw bales in the pig sty, okay? But not in the pasture. All right, let's take a bit more of a deeper look at the animal pen menu, the health, the reproduction, the puberty, uh, the food, and the other inputs. Okay, so we've talked about slurry and straw. So that's a, by a byproduct of having the pigs. All right, straw is obviously there when you to produce manure. So if you don't want, if you don't want manure, don't put the straw in. Okay. Now I've got a selection of pigs here that are at various ages and various levels of health. Now I've let the food run down to um, zero in all areas, just so I can show you what it, what it looks like when we top the food up. Okay. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of different pigs here in different age groups. So the most mature are going to be this section here, 29 months, followed by 25 months, 24, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So we've got the benthone black pied here, four months old. So you can see it's at 66% puberty. So when it hits six months of age, all right, it'll start to reproduce uh, pigs every four months, okay? As long as its health is 100%. Now, its health has, needs to be 100% as well to produce slurry, and then obviously to produce offspring. And then we've got these guys here. So we'll look at the 12 months. So the 12 months are at a 25% reproduction rate. So basically what that means is they're about a quarter of the way through their reproduction cycle to produce another pig. Now, because I've got 36 of these guys at this age group, basically every time, every four months, these 36 pigs will reproduce and give me 36 new pigs, okay? So based on how many you have at the certain age will dictate how many pigs you get at a time. Now that becomes important when you're coming to sell them because you want to try and sell them in batches of, I mean, whatever whatever number you choose. I just chose 36 because our truck and transport trailer that we can buy in game carries 36 pigs to the uh, animal dealer to sell, okay? So it makes sense to have them in sort of 36 uh, pig buckets, all right? But you can choose whatever number you want doesn't matter. All right, let's talk about food quickly. Okay, so we're gonna get some pig feed. So I'm just gonna grab the multi-fruit buying station here. We'll top this up with pig feed and we'll drop that off and we'll talk about the ratio of, of feed. All right, so we've got a trailer of pig feed here. So you can buy this from the shop in bales, uh, in pallets or big bags. I'm just putting it in loosely through the multi-fruit buy station, which is a mod you can get from the mod hub if you're not familiar. Okay, so let's get that loaded in. So you can see our food is increasing. Now what, what you'll notice here is this uh, pig food is broken down in the correct ratio for base food, grain, protein, and root crops, okay? So it basically portions out the different feed types automatically, okay? Now the benefit to this is, so what you can accidentally do is you can overfill on base food, on grain, on protein, or root crop uh, accidentally and basically what will happen is the pigs won't be healthy and they won't be productive. Okay, so you can see this here. They're currently at 0% health. So I'm going to sleep for one day, let them consume a day's worth of food, and we should see that health bar go back up to 100%. All right, so here we are. We've slept for one day. The pigs have consumed a day's worth of food. So you can see all the cohorts of pig are back up to 100% health. Okay, their reproduction and pu puberty has increased. All right and their maximum value, which is $1,200 per pig, uh, has now been restored, okay? So 
if they're not healthy if their health drops the price of the pig will decrease as well okay so you've got to have them 100 percent health to reach their maximum value and like i was saying before 24 months is basically so you can see here we've got a couple of 22 month pigs slightly under the 1200 dollars value if we go to the 25 month pigs 1200 and then we've got a group of say 30 months here which are 1200 so they don't they don't increase in value past 24 months so that's just something to keep in mind if you're going to sell them now i've got them broken up into th groups of 36 because that's how big the wilson a pace set of trailer is uh, in game that will transport the pig so this is base game equipment we're going to have a look at that in a second uh, but basically that's my strategy for how to feed them now what you want to be careful of is the food capacity you've got to have you've got to have all the food types so you've got to have base food grain and protein the only one you can omit is root crop okay so if you don't have base food grain protein in the correct ratios you won't get 100 percent health and your pigs essentially won't work okay the other thing to be mindful of is you can accidentally fill your base food uh, all the way full so you won't be able to accept any grain or protein which will then reduce the output of your pigs to essentially zero so you do run the risk that if you mess up the ratio of feed uh, the pigs won't reproduce and effectively what they have to do is they have to eat all that food uh, whatever you've put in down to a level where you can accommodate the um, the other grains to or the other the other feed types so the grain the protein and the root crops if you're going to do it and it can kind of ruin your pig sty if you don't if you're not aware of it so i'm going to demonstrate that now and i'll show you what i mean so we're 100 percent productive full health everything's good we're low on food but i'm going to i'm going to actually i'm going to set up a new pig pen because i don't want to ruin this one and then i'll demonstrate with that one so see you in a minute all right here we are with our test pig sty so we've got a brand new pig sty one pig uh it's fully matured ready to reproduce it's got zero percent health uh, no slurry production there's no food in there currently but what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it up with base food which in this case i believe is corn or sorghum okay so i'm going to fill up the base food to uh, as to the max level and then we're going to come back in over a couple of days and see what the health of the pig is doing so let's have a look at that all right so you can see here we are we're 34,000 liters of base uh, base food We've got no grain, no protein, no root crops, okay? So we're going to sleep now, and we'll see what happens. All right, here we are. So we've slept for three three days. So you can see we started off with a six-month-old pig. It's now nine months old. Health is 0%. Reproduction is 0%. Uh, the base food is down by about 100 litres. So what you can see here is the food capacity effectiveness doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't actually count towards the overall health of the animal the health is dictated by the balance of food okay so what i've done here is to demonstrate that if we accidentally filled pig's dye with base food to, to the maximum with no space for grain or protein there's no way we're ever going to be able to get full uh, health out of this animal until that base food is consumed now you are producing slurry at a lower rate um, the reproduction is not kicking in so it's really really important that you remember to make sure you balance your uh, food inputs and that's why i pretty much exclusively just use pig food because you're getting everything you need in in one product although it is a little bit more expensive but in the long run it, if you've got the right strategy and you can also see here that once again in our other um, pig sty the food value the food is depleted so therefore the cost of the animals has plummeted all right but just to demonstrate that the balance of food is very very important okay so let's move on all right next up we're going to talk about slurry so to get slurry first of all you need a vehicle that will be able to transport the slurry so we've got uh, one of the self-propelled vehicles here and then we've got a tractor with a trailer combination so we've got the shelton ideal with the slurry spirit out on the back Okay, so the slurry location is just here. So it comes out of this pipe. You've got the trigger here to um, overload it. You can see in our UI menu down the bottom there, we've got 128,000 litres roughly of slurry. So basically what we do here, jump in our preferred vehicle, drive alongside the cell point, or the trigger point, sorry. Start filling, 
and then you can see our tank bottom right hand corner is now going to fill okay once fill once filled we can we can go and spread this on our fields so we can spread this on our fields for a, a fertilizer state okay or we can sell it directly uh, otherwise we can sell it directly uh, depending on the map you're playing on you may be able to sell it but on Elm Creek we've got the biogas plant one megawatt now you may need to own the biogas plant for the for you for you to have the ability to sell so just keep that in mind but the primary purpose of slurry uh, is to be used as a fertilizer because you do get you do get it as a free bri uh, free byproduct of the pigs okay so there's no there's no input required by virtue of having the pigs on your farm you will get a slurry you will get slurry production okay so just keep that in mind all right so how do we increase our slurry capacity so if we come into our all right so we're in our pigsty large menu so we've only got the so this is in the animal animal menu we've got the pigsty large here you can see it's 115,250 liters of slurry how do we boost that capacity okay so there's two ways so the first way is to come into silos and we have the liquid manure tank for 500,000 uh, sorry for 65,000 all right, so one thing you need to be aware of is if you place down the silo, so liquid manure tank silo, okay, so the one, this one here, you won't get any, uh, you won't get any automatic slurry transfer from, say, your pigsty here into this facility here, okay? So we've recently placed this down. We've slept for three nights, okay? You can see that our pigsty large is maxed out on slurry. However, this one here, has not received any uh, slurry, okay? So it has to be manually transferred from that point over there to this point here, okay? Now, if you wanna have it happen automatically, what you need to do, come into the build mode and place the silo extension, which is this one here. So we've got the small version and we've got the large version, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly delete this and I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to put down the big one. So silo, silo extensions. We're going to go the 2 million capacity. Now you want to put it close enough to your uh, pigsty that it's going to transfer. Because if you go too far away, a liquid manure tank extension needs to be placed next to a barn or another liquid manure tank to receive that uh, slurry. So I'm just going to put it in behind here. It's a nice spot for it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sleep for one day and see what capacity we end up with now what you'll notice too is since placing down that two million liter tank our slurry bar which was previously full maxed out in the green is now 128,000 liters but the the green bar is very very uh low fill level which indicates that this tank over here is functioning as intended all right so it's basically boosted the capacity of this uh, facility so let's go and sleep and see how much we get so you can see there our slurry production is now 144,000 liters so an increase of uh, yesterday's slurry capacity okay and what you'll notice too is that over time this will full this will fill to the top to signify its level change okay looks pretty gross but I mean at the end of the day it is animal slurry so it's just there as a booster tank for our pigsty, okay? And to retrieve that, we basically just come through to our original slurry point, and you can see that there. So this slurry tank is now receiving the slurry. Happy days. All right, let's move on. All right, so how do we get manure? Okay, so you can see there we've got a straw bar of zero liters currently. Now basically if you want manure you need to add straw and then the straw will be converted into manure and then you can use that for further fertilization and you can also sell it uh, for money okay but the fertilization is just another benefit on top of the slurry okay so the way we get that is we need straw so we've got a tractor and trailer here full of straw you can use you can lo use loose bales or sorry you can use bales or loose straw which we've got here It'll fundamentally do the same thing. You just add it in through the fill point, and you can see there our straw bar is increasing to signify that we are producing straw. 
All right, so how do we get manure to spawn? All right, so you've got two options. First option we're going to take a look at is the manure heap. So we come into silos, find the manure heap, and we want to place that down somewhere close to our pigsty. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sleep for one day and see how much manure appears. So you can see that there. We'll go and have a look. So we come over to our manure heap. We've got a thousand liters of manure uh, just here. Okay, so as long as it is placed uh, in conjunction with the pigsty, uh, it will work. Okay, so let's now test the manure heap extension. So I'm going to delete this manure heap. We're going to place down the silo extension, which is this one here, manure heap extension, 4 million liters. Let's place that down and then we'll go ahead and sleep for one day and see if we get some manure in there. So as you can see, the manure heap extension has nothing in it. Okay, so in this case for manure, you want to use the you want to use the manure heap. So in the silo section, manure heap uh, that will fill automatically. Okay, so just something to keep in mind that that is how you get manure and slurry. Okay, let's move on. All right, let's take a quick look at transport. So we've got the Wilson trailer here. So this is jam-packed full of pigs it's a little bit hard to see but if we jump into the vehicle menu so if we jump into the tools come down to animals animal transport we've got the wilson silver star trailer here so that's that's the one we're looking for it'll do 12 cows 36 pigs and 38 sheep all right so we've already loaded it up we're going to go sell this so let's get the engine going and basically the way we do this is we actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them from pen to pen so rather than selling them say for example you've got you want to make space in one of your other pigsties so we've got our large pigsty over there our newly placed pigsty just here so what I'm going to do is back on up to the animal dialogue button L3 and then we've got the silver star on the left and the space in the new pen on the right so if we select that pick the number of animals we want so in this case 36 move to husbandry animals are moved we can now see all our pigs have been transferred and you can see in the pig style box down the bottom 37 animals are now uh, in that area okay so now if i want to load them up conversely basically jump back in the trailer open the animal dial dialog box pick the ones we want to move so we've got these guys here, move to trailer, go and check out our trailer, you can sort of see the curly tails through there. And then what we want to do now is we want to take this over, take this over to the animal dealer and then we're going to go sell them. So I'm going to drive over there and then we will sell them and go from there. So I'll meet you over at the animal dealer. Alright, here we are at the animal dealer. So we're going to just cruise on in. Now all you basically need to do is you need to drive up to this dialog box on the on the ground here. So drive over it till you get the trigger. Okay, so we can see there we've got the Silver Star with 36 pigs. If we press X on that, pick the amount we want to sell, and then we click sell. So animals have been sold. And that's 43,200 in animal sales for pigs. So we've sold them at maximum value. Now one thing to notice, note about the pigs and animals in particular is their prices don't fluctuate throughout the year. So whatever their maximum price is, it's going to be that price any month of the year. Okay. So the benefit of that is you're not susceptible to the fluctuations in crop price, which you would be for things like grains and other such items. Okay. So just quickly have a look here. Like barley, for example, prices fluctuate throughout the year. Pig price is $1,200, maximum price, all year round, as long as they're 100% health. We've just made 43200 so max price for our pigs. So the good thing about pigs is, regardless of the time of year, the price is always the same, okay? So whereas grains, root crops, and other crops will um, fluctuate in price, pig price is doesn't fluctuate so it is what it is regardless of the time of year so 
basically you don't need to worry about selling at certain times of the year to get the best price you can basically sell them whenever uh, and get the best price as long as they hit that 24 month growth mark the other added benefit to that is because crops do fluctuate in price by taking the crop feeding it to the pigs we've essentially um, increased the value of that crop over and above what we possibly might have gotten for it to sell it directly um, other production chains may be more profitable however in regards to the pigs you get about a five times return on your initial investment so a pig if you don't pay the transport fees is two hundred dollars okay and it will net you when you sell it for full price uh, 1200 okay now in the operation that I've got here I've I started with 36 so just jump out quickly so I started with 36 however I haven't had to buy any more pigs because they basically just replicate themselves over and over hence what I was explaining before so they basically just rep they keep replicating themselves over and over about six months apart so you can see here then this is going to be the next group so the 36 19 monthers so in five more months they'll be ready to sell and they'll produce uh, another batch of offspring which will come down the bottom and so i think yeah these are going to be the next group and you can also tell by the, by the pricing so as they get older they become more valuable so there you have it guys, my introductory beginner's guide to pigs and pig farming in Farming Simulator 22. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you've got any questions, consider to subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.